probably heard his story by now, lost a friend uh, of a long time uh, in the offseason. Uh, very tough to deal with, obviously. How hard is it going to be for him to get his focus back, Shane? It's going to be tough, Ernie. Uh, he lost someone that he knew for a long time, and it's going to weigh on him. Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us all right, are here at 2K Sports ready to go? as we get ready to start the season in style. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Brooks kicks to Freak. Rebound by the 76ers. Now Smith. Down low. Okafor. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Gibson the screen. Butler kicks to Miritich. Cranes it from beyond the arc. They worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening court. And if they match that effort at the defensive end, watch out. Smith with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Okafor, the pass to Embiid. A second chance effort, and it's Okafor getting it to go. So far on the glass, it hasn't even been close. Yeah, they're taking it to him. It feels like they've gotten every loose ball. Outside Butler. Got it, and he's now three for five from the field. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. And Miritich kicks to Butler. Pass to Rivera. Lots of room. And the Bulls get it back. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. That's 10 points for Butler. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. And it's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Embiid with the steal, and here comes Smith leading the fast break. Plays it up and banks it in. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Mix it out to Gibson, dishes it to Butler. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful jam. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's <laughs> showtime. That was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. That Kia Slam Cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. From deep, Brooks, no luck. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Bulls lead by 11. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. We sat down with Freak to discuss how he's handling the loss of his close friend. You know, Freak was my brother. Blood couldn't have made us any closer. And um, everything feels like it just happened yesterday. So I'm, um, I'm just trying to take things one day at a time, you know. I'm very grateful for my family, my teammates and coaches for supporting me during this difficult season. 
Um, I miss Vic, but uh, I'll press on. Yeah. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Free Clark and his family. Without question, I mean, it's a really difficult road to navigate. Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Freak comes in for Pau Gasol. Miritich has checked in for Doug McDermott. And it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Brooks. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid out there with Robert Covington. Then there's Okafor. And it's Smith. Miritich with it. Now defended by Embiid. Pass to Butler. They get a hand on it. Six to shoot. Here's Rose. The shot misses. And it's Philadelphia the other way. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Embiid with a screen on Miritich. 4-3, Covington. And the 76ers get it back. And it's Okafor missing. The Bulls leading by eight. Fast break, here comes Chicago. Miritich dishes the Rose. And again, no good by Chicago. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Cheeky. It's good, the Cheeky. assist that time from Smith. He's got five. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Rose passes to Miritich. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And that one's good by Butler. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Smith drawn the double team. Up top, MB to the middle. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Smith hits them both. And Chicago has possession. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Outside Rose. The kick outside to Butler. Nailed from three-point land. Butler's got seven now in this quarter. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. So we've reached the end of the first half. the second half about to start up and begin any moment entirely new group here Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah Freak comes in for Pau Gasol Miritich is checked in for Doug McDermott and it's Brooks in for Rose Lavira in at the four spot Brooks out there with Jimmy Butler then it's Taj Gibson and it's Miritich in at the three so that's the five in the game for Chicago here's Butler Rebounded by Covington. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And Smith gets double teamed. Here's Covington. Brooks covering. And it will go. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Covington. Chicago has gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Down low. And Miritich throws it down. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. The layup off target. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. To the middle. Here's Noel. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, 
Another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. The 76ers making a switch here. Grant's checked in. Miritich with it. Now Smith defending. Kicks it out to Gibson. Stolen. With one on the clock. Stolen by Brooks. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of... The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. The Bulls making a change here. Freaks checked in. The 76ers trail by 19. So on the floor for Philadelphia. They've got Noel. Embiid is out there with Okafor. Then there's Ish Smith. Here's Brooks. Connects from three-point range. Brooks. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Chicago's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Rose kicks to Freak. Embiid with the steal. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Bulls. Clark, the differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and also helped to get uh, you know more guys involved in the offense easy. They made the defense adjust by moving the ball like that, and there was no answer for it. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. Your hope is to take charge of a season series by winning that first game. This will put them up 1-0 with three games still left to play this year against the 76ers. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Jimmy Butler. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. And it's Noel missing. Here's Rose. Passes it to McDermott. He had Freak, top of the key. Outside Rose. Just five on the clock. Banked in off the glass. The fans are just loving what's going on here tonight. A really good win for the home team. It sure is. I mean, they kept this crowd in the game, gave them plenty to cheer about, and really used that home court advantage to their advantage. And he can't get the first one. At the line, the Bulls. Joel and Two shots. That one misses. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. Brooks dishes to Freak. Outside Butler. There's the pass to Portis. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to beat Kevin. I know their fans loved it and appreciated it. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And Ernie Johnson is still in the building, folks, for the post-game show. Coming up next... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Jimmy Butler. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. A tremendous night of shooting the basketball for him tonight. He was nearly 60% from the field. Ernie, 60. That's Shaq-like numbers. Okay, that's Kenny Smith-like numbers. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy was outstanding. I love the way he shot it all over the place. Well, you know when Butler's on the court, he's going to come at you in all sorts of ways. I mean, defensively, offensively, this guy can just fat out play. Let's not forget he's an all-star, too. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight, but we're just getting